Hello. Hello, Mama Bean. Hello, Cable. I'm assuming by your your message, Cable, the uh, notifications didn't work today. I just updated Discord manually because it wasn't going over there either. Hi, Sargareth. Pardon me while I have a veggie chip. Yay. Hi guys, how are you doing? Rusty's here. Say hi, Rusty. Mmm, I love them too. What's up? Rusty was having some too. He shouldn't have very many though. Too much salt. Can you guys hear me over the music? <laughs> Sargreth wants you to know he follows you on Twitter. <laughs> I should set it up so that it updates when I go live on Rusty. And the MVP can do that too. <laughs> Although, I think he might be more often on mine than on hers. Oh, were you guys hanging out somewhere else? So I had a training at work today, which ran late, so that's why I didn't start on time. A lot of times when, um, when sales reps come and they do industry training, they buy us treats. So I bought a piece of chocolate cake, and now I'm like, oh, I'm all gross. Yes, Sargreth, people are chatting. They're saying hi to you. <laughs> Maybe you should refresh. But I'm glad to be here. Eventually my blood sugar will go back to normal. It's just like, I'm out of breath. So this is my very first um, non-cooking, non-gaming stream. I'm calling it gardening stream, even though I'm inside. Somebody type something in chat. Something. <coughs> Yay. <laughs> Yes, that's what she said. <laughs> so I'm glad you guys are here. Um, I wanted to show you my garden plans so far. So right now I have, let me see if I can refocus this. I have a four by eight foot raised bed. in my backyard, or in my front yard. I don't really have a backyard. Um, so, this was basically what I had set up last year, this size. Um, and this year I'm gonna add another four by four foot section to it. So I bought um, all of my raised bed pieces in kits at Home Depot. So this four by eight section came. Do you need, <laughs> do you need a dragon to raise the bed? <laughs> raised beds <laughs> like with an s <laughs> but yeah so uh it was i think it was two years ago actually so the first year we had this set up um was really my first year gardening like i've, I've always had like an herb garden and we had like a cherry tomato plant at one point on our balcony in texas um and some basil you know but um so two years ago was the first year I had like a real garden and I got, you know, the typical stuff, uh, peppers and tomatoes and uh, I didn't know what I was doing. So I got like a few cherry tomatoes, my peppers died, yeah, um, I, mean, I had some basil. But so last year um, I actually kind of knew what I was doing, um, I remembered to feed everything. <laughs> regularly and uh, I had a pretty good harvest. I had tons of zucchini. Hi Zeus. 
I had tons of zucchini and I had a lot of cherry tomatoes. I had um, some beans. Yeah, I had a mean zucchini patch. It was really only two plants. And I had so much zucchini by the end of it, I had to dehydrate it. And again, because I'm new to gardening and preserving and stuff, I, I haven't used the dehydrated zucchini. So I should probably do that before I get more. <laughs> But, like, zucchini is wicked easy to grow, so long as you remember to water and feed it with fertilizer. Now I know. <laughs> so, my plan for this year is to add another 4x4 four four foot section. Because one thing that I wanted to do last year, which I didn't, I didn't have success with, was greens. Um, so, what I'm going to probably do is order some... They have... They're kind of like steaks, but they're round. Um, from Amazon and you can get some linen sort of fabric to go over them and stakes to put it in the ground so basically it'll keep the delicate greens like warm and keep the bugs off of them prevent things from eating them so they're more likely to survive but they'll still get enough light because the fabric is you know lets UVs in that sort of thing. So that's my plan. I don't know how well it's gonna go, but I did plant some lettuces in like a strip uh, last year and they did nothing. So I also have some larger greens that I'm gonna work through. So I sketched this out a couple weeks ago. Sorry, my, my kitchen island is moving around. So one thing I learned from last year was that the um, the zucchini and the tomatoes I had right here. So the tomatoes did fine, even though the zucchini was in front of it, blocked some of the sun. But I had my, my beans back here and a cucumber, and it didn't get enough sun. So I'm gonna move some things around. So I'm going to Put the zucchini here where I did last time but I'm gonna have a pepper and some dill and then cucumber and pepper in the back because I need shorter things right here so that the Sun can still get to the ones in the back here I'm gonna put my beans over here and only have low stuff on the bottom <laughs> sunshine on my, t my tomatoes makes me happy Sunshine on the peppers makes me cry. Why do you say that? Do they not need a lot of sun? I was told that peppers grow in the desert really well, so there's no reason why. Just channeling Bob Denver? Okay. <laughs> John Denver, that's right. So yeah, my plan is to have, I have, both, I have two types of beans, green beans and yellow beans. I'm gonna get some trellises to put them up in there. And then have my lettuces. And then I already have a strawberry growing out there right now. Um, and then in this new section, I'm gonna try to do pumpkins in the front. Yeah, beefsteak. I'm not, I don't, I don't know. I think I might do the, the big tomatoes in a pot. So I'm gonna, we're gonna see what happens. But my thought is to have the tomatoes here. Cause this is higher up this one in the back is about six inches taller and with the zucchini being so tall I'm not worried about the tomatoes kind of blocking the Sun so the tomatoes I'm gonna put here and then I'm gonna put spinach and kale and pumpkins down at the bottom so that's my thought um so I made a list of all of the things. Oh man, look what happened. So I was sketching out my, I'm making, I made a diagram of the patio that I'm gonna put outside. And I made, did math, determined how much of each paver size I'm gonna need. And it bled through my page. Whoops. So this is what I'm, I'm gonna start planting today. So the six to eight week plants 
and it's about eight weeks until the I know, whoops. It's about eight weeks till the beginning of June. Um, I can't plant anything outside until after that because uh, New Hampshire, the frost, there's no frost free guaranteed night until June. So we're gonna plant my tomatoes, my peppers, and then primrose. Math, did you hear that? It was as if, it was as if a billion voices cried out of terror and were suddenly silent. Yes. <laughs> it was a difficult math because um, I had to do, I measured everything in feet and then it occurred to me that the pavers are measured in inches, so I had to convert my feet into inches and then determine how many pavers needed to go in the rows. Yeah. And this might be wrong, I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna, I'm hopefully gonna stream that too. At least they weren't metric. <laughs> so, Except I didn't put my pumpkin on here. I put that in the three to four week category. I wonder why I did that. Maybe they just have oh, a, a long time to grow on the vine. Jack be little pumpkin. So they're not, they're not actually edible pumpkins. They are decorative pumpkins. Yeah, so it's three to four weeks before planting, okay. All right, fine. Those are my little pumpkins. I'll do another seed starting stream for the three to four weekers. So, I got this really cute seed box. <laughs> that I keep all of them in. So you might notice that most of them have clearance stickers on them. I usually buy them <laughs> at the end of the season. Um, and it saves money. This is the second, the third year, second year that I've done it. And the ones that I bought on clearance last year uh, worked fine. Where is my primrose? Okay. So these are the ones I'm doing today. We've got evening primrose. Matt's wild cherry tomato. Rose de burn tomato. Am I gonna get dirty? Just my hands. Unless something happens. King of the North sweet pepper. And early jalapeno hot pepper. And these were all a dollar fifty instead of three or four dollars. Except this one. I bought this one this year. This was 40, 40 cents because I bought it at Goodwill. Did you know? that you can buy discount seeds and supplies at stores like Goodwill and Aldi. Aldi is honestly one of my favorite places to go for gardening and plant supplies. <laughs> I bought um, I bought a bush there the other day. Let me show you. So I'm, I'm like collecting and accumulating plants uh, like nobody's business. So for Valentine's Day, I bought that orchid. Do you remember that orchid? Well, this was four dollars, and it's a hydrangea bush, and it's got little little greens on it already. <laughs> I'm so excited! I'm actually gonna try keeping it in a container so that if, in the event that MVP and I become really successful and have enough money to buy another house, I can take it with me. So, I've always wanted a hydrangea. One of our neighbors has one. Um, and my mom loves these. So if it's really, if it flowers a lot, I'd be like, I'd love to be able to give her cuttings from it. I wonder what would shock cable, yeah. <laughs> so I bought some other stuff at Goodwill. I went yesterday. Um, 
but these are for, from several weeks ago, so. I bought this really cool sprayer at Aldi. It's one of those ones where you pump it and then press it and it has a continuous spray. I noticed that with my, my flowers and my herbs that they really don't like the watering can. Kudos! Thank you for the donation, oh my god! Woohoo streams! How come that didn't show up in my thingy? I didn't get a chance to read your message, Koodles. If you're able to type it in chat, um... Yes, I know! It was the... Ah, okay! So that's my first real donation! Surprise! It's the hamster dance! <laughs> And it was a dancing pug with a fruit hat. <laughs> Thank you, Koodles. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's okay. I can check it later, but it was really small and I was very surprised. So look at guys, this doesn't want to stay down. <laughs> Whoop! Oh no! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> It got, it got all over my screen. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> oh my god. I'm just a mess. <laughs> it said, Woohoo! Stream anniversary hype, JK, but you ended so early last time. Here you go. Aww! Thank you, Koodles! I would say that to stay on theme, I plan on using that to buy more gardening supplies. <laughs> yes, Agaretha used to have that problem. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, that distraction was brought to you by pressure. Plant Mama has got to get more plants, that's right. Uh, so I, I also bought these at Goodwill. So these are bamboo uh, planters. That'll be really cute with some flowers in it. And then I just bought some regular containers in the event that I have too many tomato so, uh, so, um, sprouts, seedlings. And then um, I bought me and MVP um, the little things you kneel on in the garden. She loves to weed. Did you guys know? She sits out there in the raised bed, not raised bed, the border, and she just picks all of the weeds. She's like meticulous. I'm just over there and I just pick the big things. But she like, she spent like three hours out there weeding one day. <laughs> I'll let her know you said that. Um, but yeah, yesterday I bought, um, so we have a we have a fence, right? Um, and it's not very pretty. It's a chain link fence. It's pretty ugly. So I was thinking, me like, how can I make it more homey here and like nicer? And so you want to be in the front yard because, like I said, I don't have a backyard. It's just gravel in the back. It's like an alley. And uh, I thought if I put planters on the fence and then had the flowers between my raspberry bushes, it would look really nice. So, they were $10 each, really cheap. And they have that coconut husk stuff in it already. So I'm gonna like direct plant some flower seeds in there when it's warm enough. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. So yeah, you guys, if you don't usually shop, I shop at Goodwill all the time. So I got this cardigan there the other day when I got the, um, Planter boxes. Uh, it's teal and it's like summery. I love it. I got a shirt, Talbot's brand, never been worn. It still had the store tag on it. Uh, button up sweater, button up shirt with flowers on it that I'm really excited about. Do you really have that make pilfered objects that you need? A oh, yes, that kind of fence, yeah. It's just to keep the dog inside the yard. It's the one that the garbage truck ran over. Don't you remember that on Twitter? That fence. 
So, um, and I don't know if you also heard, I ordered banana plants. So, for the alley, that's all gravel in the backyard, I'm gonna make a patio with pavers. Um, and I'm gonna put weed barrier down on top of the gravel, put my pavers down, and then do hydraulic sand so it kind of glues everything in place. And then I'm gonna have my banana plants. They should grow to be about 12 feet tall, make it real private back there. And that's gonna be my tropical oasis. So I'm gonna get some hibiscus. I'm gonna try to get some bamboo or some tropical grasses and uh, some chairs. And me and MVP are gonna sit back there, have some drinks, enjoy my tiki glass collection. Yeah, it's a Japanese fiber banana. Um, it said it's cold tolerant to negative 10, um, which it never gets that cold here. In fact, I think the coldest day that we had here um, was about four degrees this winter. So. I'm really excited. But who knows? I don't know. They're looking pretty great. They came in on Thursday um, or Friday while we were at PAX. And I came home when, um, you know, because I had to come home for Rusty. And they've already gotten a little bigger. So they've been in the, in the window. And uh, they look really great. This is like uh, maybe two inches taller. And this is maybe one inch taller than it was when it came in. Slowly opening up, unfurling more leaves. I bought these from Loggies. Um, they were $20 each. So, I know, right? It's wicked exciting. Um, and that amaryllis I got for, uh, the amaryllis that MVP got for Christmas from her coworker, it's still alive. It said you can summer it outside until it starts to shrivel up. And then that's when you bring it back inside. So I might do that. It's about four feet tall. Now you want a banana. Unfortunately, these ones won't make edible fruit. They will fruit, but it won't be edible, according to the description. So, I think I've caught everybody up on everything. So, I figure it's probably a good idea to plant some of the bigger things in the bigger cups. And then the flowers I can definitely keep in the uh, tray. So I'm recycling these. Last year my seedlings all popped out. So. <coughs> Hello? Oh, Zeus has redeemed 200 beans to give Rusty a tomato. Rusty! Hey, dogger. I don't have the other camera hooked up, though. Hold on. We're gonna remedy this. I was like, I don't need another camera. <laughs> Look out, baby. That was a mistake. All right, look out, babe. Let's wake up the life cam. <laughs> there it is. Okay. <laughs> There's my boy. <laughs> All right, Rusty. Come here. Sit. And say thank you, Zeus. Thank you, Zeus. <laughs> Sit. You're such a good boy. Yes, you are. Yay! Now, in 45 more minutes, you can have another one. Okay? All right, go. <laughs> He's a good boy.
<laughs> Why did it get bigger? Camera. Weird. Yeah, you ate it on screen. <laughs> It's Tim's favorites, yes. The bestest boy, you are right. He is the bestest. Okay, I gotta open up my dirt. Rusty, get out. Go do dog stuff. I love you, bye bye. You guys, he's been doing so good. Like, I, I feel like his medications made him feel a little weird for the first week, but he has been acting so great the past couple days. Huh. You're doing pretty good, aren't ya? He thinks so. <laughs> I love you. He's like, why are you talking to me? Why are you talking to yourself? You're being really weird, Mom. He was so excited that Margaret came over yesterday. All he wanted to do was play. And she's like, I need a snack. I need to go to the bathroom, da 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 da. But she did play with him. I was actually getting kind of nervous. I didn't want him to overdo it, so I made him stop. His doctor said we have to like, try to pay better attention to him and how much effort he's exerted on things. Yeah, my, um, my neighbor, um, she's 74, I think. Same situation, um, you, and I think she has COPD too. Like, it's really hard for her to breathe. They go to Florida or somewhere tropical for the winter, because um, it's better for her. But yeah, I, the neighbors were outside um, when he was in the hospital, and they asked me about him, and I, you know, I told him that he's, he's not doing great at the moment, but he should be okay. It's really difficult. Like, this is my first, my first pet as an adult um, that's had health problems. And it's like, it's really difficult when you're in that situation where, you know, like the vet tells you everything's gonna be okay, but you're like, is it? Like, you don't really know. Like, I feel like um, in most cases, everybody was kind of like sugarcoating his condition to me. Um, so I, I kind of have trust issues about it now. Yeah, like he didn't want to stop. I was really, really worried. So I made him, I made him stop. <laughs> All right, we're starting. Yeah, you can't, it's, it's hard. Especially when it's a little doggo, you know, like. And you know they're just trying to make you feel better too. But, I don't know. He's doing okay right now. <laughs> you got some nature on you, yep. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I gotta remember to not say that because I don't want him to come in here and like try to lick the dirt off the floor. <laughs> I guess he didn't hear me. City boy, yeah. So I think um, what I used these cups for last year was sunflowers. Um, and the damn chipmunks, I left them out. They got they got to be a nice good size, and the damn chipmunks came and they ate them all. So when I start my sunflower seeds, I have to make sure that I don't put them outside until it's a nice big plant. Because the damn rodents. Honestly, I don't, I forgot to count how many of each thing I wanted. So. I'm doing tomatoes and peppers. One tomato, two tomatoes, one pepper, two peppers. I should probably 
make sure I have extra. Yeah, so I won't need this. Because, um, sometimes your seeds don't grow. Yes, you see the Oreos. <laughs> So are you guys going to be around on Saturday? Are you going to come watch my dessert stream? I'm making an apple cinnamon galette with coconut milk cinnamon ice cream and a cocktail of some kind. I haven't decided what kind yet. Oh, okay, Bean. Cable's going to be around. I told my mom she should come over and have some, so she might stop by. I told her she doesn't have to be on camera, but it's fun, and then she can see what it looks like. She, uh, I, I sent her a, a... We have lots to say right now. My goodness. What are you barking? Hey, Rusty. Rusty! Is there is there a reason for this? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he has. I have never seen him do this before. He's looking out the window like this. barking at. I don't see anything out there. I have to tweet this picture. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Rusty, there's nothing there! <laughs> Are you done? Sorry, guys. This is so cute. Go back, go back to the kit, the back, whatever that thing is. That place where we sit. The living room. Okay, you guys have to go to my Twitter and check that out. It's so cute. <laughs> The neighbor. Hey, stop. It's okay. Hey, you gotta calm down. Calm down. Shh. Hey, stop. He's just getting his mail. Do you want a cookie? Will that get you to shut up? <laughs> this is what I get for uh, leaving the window open. <laughs> no, you gotta stay. There's a wire there. All right, come here. I'm gonna put these Christmas trees in your bowl. <laughs> now be quiet. Isn't that cute? <laughs> He's never done that before. <laughs> At least here. We used to have um, so when we lived in, in Austin, we had two different apartments. The first one was on a balcony, so he couldn't see out the window anyway, because none of them faced the street. Yeah, so, um, the second apartment we had was on the first floor. Lots of windows. So we had one of those cat window boxes. These are really tiny seeds. I'm actually going to put two in each cup. Um... So we, we put a thing in, in the window, made for cats, for them to sit on, left the blinds open, 
and we came home one day and the dog was sitting on it. <laughs> like he jumped up there and was looking out the window. It was the funniest thing I'd ever seen. But we never put it here. We tried to put it in the kitchen for the cat to use, but the windowsill is big enough for her to just sit on it anyway. Um, so she just uses the window. It's very windy out. It has been for like the... Rusty, please. Rusty. Please leave it alone. Do you want me to close the window? I will close the blinds to make you shut up. Thank you. I know he's just trying to protect us. I know this. They talk about another kind of world. Okay. So, uh, Cable, are you still here? Looks like you haven't said goodbye. What time of year do you start? Do you start seeds inside, or do you just plant things directly in the ground? I really hope I get some peppers this year. I guess that's just one seed. There we go. Hello. Thank you for the follow, Twister. Be sure to join in on the conversation in 10 minutes. I mean, unless you want to lurk, that's okay too. Oh my, oh my gosh. Rusty, hey, that's enough. That's enough. Stop. Stop. All right, what did, what did you say in the chat? Cable says I usually just get them already started because I don't really have the window space available to grow seasons yet. Bean says she has to figure out how to plant stuff in North Dakota since it's colder there longer, yep. Cable says apparently I bring in too many of my actual plants inside already, yes. I can see how that would happen. Well, I very much enjoyed seeing pictures of your garden on Twitter, Cable, so. I saw some crocuses in the yard the other day. I'm excited for those to show up. We had a lot of plants come with the house. We were very surprised about. The crocuses are pretty cool. I think, oh my gosh. Are you done? Are you done barking? Can you please be done? <laughs> he says no. Um, yeah, so the crocuses popped up in the spring. Um, and they've been spreading. I guess they're a rhizome, so they kind of like will grow under the ground and then come back up. So I'm not sure where they were planted originally, but um, we have some in shady spots and some in sunny spots, like all over the yard. You should use MVP's dino pot. Well, these are gonna be big plants. 
I have to put them outside. Getting tea, okay. And welcome, Jinx. Thank you for tuning in. So, I just finished up. I've got two types of tomatoes and two types of peppers. I've put two seeds in each thing. I need to make sure I get a tray um, for when I water these. Or I could probably just set them on top of this other thing. But for now, I'm gonna put them over here. And I'm gonna fill this, I might not, I might fill it halfway with uh, my flowers. You got a succulent in yours? That's awesome. So Rusty's vet, um, the cardiologist, um, operates out of the same place that the emergency room is that we bring him to. Um, and they have some palms, some different types of palm trees in their office. And I asked them while I was there, picking up his prescription, about how long they had them. Like, are they pretty hardy? Because all the, you know, every time that I go to Home Depot, they all say that they need full sun. And I'm like, these are nowhere near windows. Like, could I possibly have one in my living room under my television? Um, so I asked, I asked them about it, and one of the ladies who was there said that she often forgets to water them, <laughs> and they've been there for years. So I'm gonna buy a palm, um, one of those ones with the giant ball, root ball sticking out, um, with the little leaves like that, yay big. Um, and put it somewhere in my house because I've always wanted one. So, I haven't grown these before, so. By the sound of it, I don't want a ton of them, but I guess maybe if they grow really well, I can give some of them away. Maybe I can do this many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And three in each container, and then have some more around the house. I mean, come to think of it, this might be enough. Why don't I just do that? I'll just do this section. Has anybody grown primrose before? It says, many consider wildflowers to be the most exciting and rewarding of all flowers. This tall, sturdy, dramatic plant produces attractive one to two inch bright yellow cup-shaped balloons. Flowers open wide at twilight or on cloudy days. Well, this is perfect for New England. These hardy, long-blooming plants prefer full sun and well-drained dry soil. And they're yellow! Alright, so this is the messy part. Bean, how old is your kiddo gonna be? Hi, Cable. He's a teenager, right? 18, wow, okay. Are you guys doing anything or just staying home? Mm -hmm. 
by your side You're looking me on soaring Seeing all the truth behind your eyes See you For a moment even hope that I can feel you Okay We're just having food at my parents because my mom is cooking ribs. Cool. Wow, these are tiny seeds. It's like mint seeds. So I'm gonna take my own food, yeah, of course. So the training that I had at work today was about keto products. And um, of course I couldn't try anything, but there was another girl who was there who was vegan. Um, I got some free MCT powder, so that's fun. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. My nutrition class, um, all of the doctors for the curriculum that I read basically implied that, you know, a low fat diet is preferred. So it's not really something I actively add to my diet, <laughs> but it might be fun. Yeah, I know, right? So, I don't know. What she was telling us, though, um, is that people who do keto for weight loss like, it's really integral um, that they don't just use the keto products, they actually have to exercise, too. Because, like, the body doesn't really use the fat unless you exercise, too. So, that wasn't something that occurred to me. Everybody just kind of made it sound like when you start keto, it's just like, the pounds come pouring off of you. In fact, I have somebody I work with who is doing keto, and like, the first week it looked like maybe she lost like five pounds, but it, she doesn't look any different right now. All right. So have to try to see if I can get this in the corner. sticking with us, Twister. Welcome to the stream. I think I did a pretty good job not getting dirt all over the place.
Gardening stuff is your jam. Cool. So, um, have you seen anybody else on Twitch doing gardening stuff? I've only seen one other person, and also there's like a, um, a 24-7, like, watching seedlings grow stream that I saw once. <laughs> but I don't know if that's still around. I saw Domestic Dan streaming, um, not really, unfortunately, yeah. I saw Domestic Dan doing gardening stuff in his backyard uh, last weekend, and that was pretty entertaining. But I'm gonna try to do that too. But being where I am, I have to wait <laughs> until June to plant anything outside. You check the gardening tag every now and then. I'll have, I have to make sure I, I do that too because I don't. <laughs> So, today was six to eight weeks. April 6th was what I determined. So I'm doing it a little early. So, oops. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight weeks until Memorial Day weekend. And that is typically like the traditional um, time frame that people in New Hampshire wait until um, to plant things outside. Like the Farmer's Almanac always says, don't plant anything outside until after Memorial Day. So, so the next time I'm going to start seedlings is going to be May 4th. I'm going to start cucumbers, beans, marigolds, and basil. Yeah, it is supposed to be really nice. Um, my mom might come over on Monday to help me with some stuff outside. Yes, beans. <laughs> Did you want to see? So, this is, these are the cucumbers that I bought, grew last year. They, um, they are actually pickling cucumbers and I didn't realize it. So they were pretty bitter. But, um, the zucchinis, I don't know why I have two different kinds, I just do, because I'm a seed hoarder. I've got everything separated into sections. So here we go, these are the beans I'm going to plant. Yellow and green. Thank you, Koodles. I got it at uh, five below. It's cats riding donuts in space. <laughs> so yeah, so those and then basil and marigolds. So I got so many flower seeds. I still have zinnias, but I didn't they didn't do very well last year, so I don't think I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna give up. Where'd my marigolds go? Here we go. Here's my marigolds. My mom always had marigolds in the garden when I was growing up. And then basil, I've got Genovese. And I'm actually gonna take MVP's advice this year and freeze it, um, even though it turns to mush, because I, my very last harvest was like a full zipper bag full and I ended up throwing it away. It got all mushy in the fridge. I didn't get to use it fast enough. I'll also probably make a big batch of pesto and freeze that too. But once you, when you feed your basil, when you feed your plants, they actually do really well, <laughs> which is what I learned last summer. <laughs> so yeah, this we're gonna do in May. So, Probably, we'll do Friday, May 3rd. And we're gonna put that at four. Okay, so I've got that scheduled. And then May 11th, 
I'm gonna start sunflowers, pumpkins, zucchini, and cosmos. And then everything else just goes directly into the ground. I've been waiting so long for this. I am so excited. I got these sunflowers for that sunflower time frame. I'm so excited. They're beautiful. I'm gonna have to keep them in a container and cover them up until they're nice and big. Or maybe permanently. If I can find a nice cover to put on top of them. It says they grow to be about 12 inches. Oh wait, no, seven. Wait, this says seven feet, never mind. I thought these were mini ones. But once they get big enough, these are gonna be able to be by themselves. <laughs> That's great. That's good. This is what I wanted last year, but the chipmunks ate all of them. So. Um, but yeah. That's what I've got planned. And... I hope all of you are able to tune in for those things. Um, and I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to try to stream building my patio, which is gonna take a long time. And there will probably be lots of swearing and breaks, but it'll be worth it. And then I'll put before and after, before and after pictures online too. Hi, Cleefbeard. Chipmunks do then, yeah, sure. The little buggers ate, ate all of my flowers last year before they even had a chance to like bloom. Little jerks. So that's all I got you guys. All I have to do is water the seedlings or the sprouts that I planted, seeds. Water the seeds that I planted. So. I was checking to see if anybody else is gardening, but it doesn't look like it. Maybe if I click on the tag. Thank you guys for stopping by. Um, I'm gonna be streaming food on Saturday at six o'clock. I'm gonna be making an apple cinnamon galette um, with coconut milk ice cream that's cinnamon flavored and then I will be making a cocktail I told my mom she should come by um, so she might come in I told her she doesn't have to be on stream if she doesn't want to but she should yeah nobody else is gardening right now so What is everybody, oop, what's happening? Do you guys wanna watch Lula Boo make pozzoli and bolio bread? She just started, it looks like. She might not even be live yet. It says there's only three people in there. She's partnered, so there's definitely gonna be more people in there. Let's give her a raid. Um, yeah, again, thank you guys for coming. I'll be back um, on Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern um, making dessert, having some drinks, and I hope you tune in. Um, we're going to send you over to Lulaboo, and I'll catch you later. Thanks again. Thank you again, Koodles, for the donation. I really appreciate it. Um, and you guys have a great night. Bye-bye.